So in this video, I will show you how to enable virtualization on your Windows 10 system. Follow these simple steps to set up the Windows Virtual Machine Platform and enable virtualization in your Windows. First, go to search bar and search for settings. Then, navigate to system settings. In the search bar, type Windows feature and select the second option. Turn Windows features on or off. A new window for Windows feature will open. Here, ensure that the Windows Virtual Machine Platform option is checked. If it's not already checked, the system will start searching for the required files. Allow this process to complete. Once it finishes applying changes, it will prompt you to restart your system. As these changes take effect after a restart. So restart your system. After the restart, press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete together to open the Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab. Here, you can see that the virtualization status of my hardware is still disabled. No worries, in the final steps, this issue is going to be fixed. Restart your system again. Before the system starts normally, enter the BIOS settings. For my Lenovo laptop PC, the BIOS key is F1. Your system may use a different key to enter the BIOS. Once inside the BIOS, navigate to the security menu. Here you will find the virtualization technology VTX settings, which is currently disabled. Enable this setting by pressing the F10 key to accept the change. Then click on save changes and exit. Confirm by clicking yes when prompted to save the changes. The system will restart normally. After restarting, go to the task manager again. Inside the CPU section of the performance tab, you should see that virtualization is enabled on your hardware. I hope you find this video helpful. For more tech videos, give me a like and subscribing to my channel.